It's official, we're alive. It's official, we're alive. <laughs> I'm just going to do that with that one. Oh, we're slightly late. Slightly late, but not not like last week. Last week we made people late. I know. But that's, yeah. that's not late, wait. But that's fine. Yes. And um, people still join. Of course they do. And they're still joining now. Well, hopefully. Yes. Do wave and say hi. Oh, great. Got some people joining us already. That's brilliant. Good afternoon, everyone. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Again. Buckle in. Buckle in. Uh, midday prayer. That's it. Um, cool. So we hope you're all well. We hope you are enjoying. I hope people enjoyed the really hot weather last week. Mm. Uh, wasn't it hot? Yes, it was. And um, it's going to be a bit cooler this week. Yeah. And then next week it's going to get warm again. Yeah, Steve's like the weatherman. <laughs> Every uh, day I'm like, what's uh, it going to be like today? I'm a weather bore. <laughs> I get out my phone and um, I um, talk about precipitation. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. You want to do the quiz. And, uh, yes, yes. Uh, quizzes, weather quizzes, um, cloud cover. All of, uh, all of that stuff. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. Part, part of British life, isn't part it? Part of British life. You never know what it's going to be like <laughs> on the day. Indeed. But um, being great because we've been able to get out, do some walks. Lots of people have been doing gardening. You've been painting the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of jobs getting done that perhaps we wouldn't normally do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Things that pop down to the bottom of the job list. Yeah. And now at the top. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. I wonder what um, everyone else has been doing in this time maybe you want to comment that and uh, things that you have been able to get done in this time of lockdown but also please comment prayers mm. anything you would like to do perhaps yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, help prayer wise with that yeah that would be really good and we'll have a time as well to think about what we want to be praying for mm. um, but yeah hello hello bobby hello charles hello julia cynthia all these people logging in hi hannah everyone who's joining us uh, that's great. Isn't this a good encouragement? We say it every week, don't yeah, we? Yeah. But it really is, uh, and lovely to hear people from our church family particularly um, talking about the encouragement they have from tuning yeah. into yeah. midday prayer every day, which yeah. has become part and will continue to be part of our lives, yeah. um, and yeah. especially locally here. And thanks to our Baptist yes. friends and our uh, benefits family of course yeah definitely That's bad turning back from yeah it's yeah. definitely become part of people's lives and our routine hasn't very it? much so yeah so yeah great well let's start hello more people coming in let's start with um our call and response that we do most days grace mercy and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ be with you and, and also, also with, with you, you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let, Let us, us rejoice and be glad in it. So, we turn to our first reading, which is Psalm 50 today. You might have noticed last week we just did a psalm. This week we're back on the road, so back on track. We went a bit rogue last week. We went a bit rogue. We just felt like <laughs> it. <laughs> um, but we are back on, so it's Psalm 50. Half and half, this half one. And half. It's quite, quite a long, long one. one. It is. Yeah. So, do you want to do first half? So, shall I go to uh, verse 15? Yeah, and then I'll come in. And you come in from there. Yeah. Psalm 50. The mighty one, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth, and he may judge his people. Gather to me my consecrated ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his righteousness. For God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your store or of goats from your pens. For every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. 
I know every bird in the mountains, and the creatures of the field are mine. I were, hu I were hungry, I would not tell you. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice, thank offerings to God, fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honour me. But to the wicked person, God says, What right have you to recite my laws, or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instruction, and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil, and harness your tongue to deceit. You sit and testify against your brother, and slander your own mother's son. When you did these things, and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you. But now, but I now arraign you, and set my accusations before you. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces, with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thank offerings honour me, and to the blameless I will show my salvation. Just a little note before we carry on, apologies to Instagram watchers, it keeps going on and off, but if you are still with us, thank you, oh it's, it's paused again. But we hope you're still with us on Facebook. Do let us know if it's going a bit fuzzy. Um, but yeah, sorry. Anyway, Psalm 50. And the person who's just had a phone call and says they're now joining us. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. That person, brilliant. thank brilliant. you for joining us. We know who you are, you know who we are. That was an interesting psalm, and it was quite a complicated one, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I'm a bearer of little brain, really, but I. D I I do realise it says to me, certainly the first half of it I read, mm. how big God is. Mm. Um, we want to please God by giving um, gifts to him, the best we yeah. can give him. You know, and in the old days it was all about sacrificing bulls yeah. and goats yeah. and so forth. But he made them. Mm. He, mm. Is, he is the creator. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'm not sure. I'm not perhaps, what do you take from that? Do you think, I, I just sense that he was saying, it's all very well you giving these sacrifices, but I think he's looking for what's in our hearts yeah. rather than what we can physically bring to yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Because what we can physically bring to him, he'd made anyway. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then I think the bit near the end is quite, brings that home of kind of, you know, I didn't say anything, I kept silent, and you thought I was on board with this, but actually, no. And I think that's quite interesting. Um, but now I arraign you and set my accusations before you, um, and actually, this is the reality. Yeah. And I, th I think you're right yeah. in, in that sense. Um, yeah, I found it complicated. And, and, and it had that same pattern again of kind of. God's amazing, let's celebrate him, and then yeah. to you that do bad, this yeah. is what will happen. Yes. And you're right, that taking it seriously, the sacrifice, are you really, what's in your heart, are you really doing it? Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. He, he often talks about what's in your, what's on your lips, and not what's in your heart. It's all yeah. very well saying or doing things, but it takes an account of that. Yeah. And I, our prayer, and we've talked about this before, is that the Holy Spirit will work between, within us, and yeah. it comes out of here, what 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 is done to God's yeah. glory, rather than being seen yeah. to do stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think that was an element of that yeah. that came out of this song. Definitely, uh, yeah. Where's that intent coming from? So, yeah. Wow. So uh, let's turn to our second mm. reading. Good. Thank you people on Facebook for letting us know that you're still with us, that it's still working. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, Acts 10, chapter 10, verses 23 to 33. I'm just finding them online now. Oh, yes. 
This is Peter at Cornelius' house. The, still the early days of the church. Um, do you want to read it? You yeah, read it. I can read Go it. Do you want me to read yeah. it? Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. So, um, Acts 10, verses 23 to 33. Here we go. Then Peter invited the men into the house to be his guests. The next day, Peter started out with them, and some of the believers from Joppa went along. The following day, he arrived in Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them, and had pulled together his relatives and close friends. As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man myself. While talking with him, Peter went inside and found a large gathering of people. He said to them, You are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call anyone impure or unclean. So when I was sent for... I came without raising any objection. May I ask why you sent for me? Cornelius answered, Three days ago I was in my house praying at this hour, at three in the afternoon. Suddenly a man in shining clothes stood before me and said, Cornelius, God has heard your prayer and remembered your gifts to the poor. Sent to Joppa for Simon, who is called Peter. He is a guest in the home of Simon the Tanner, who lives by the sea. So I sent for you immediately, and it was good of you to come. Now we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us. Now that's interesting. In, in verse 30, it says, uh, Cornelius says, um, four day, according to my version, four days ago, I was in my house praying at this hour. And to your question, so it's three. How interesting. <laughs> there really are some unknowns, aren't there? Yeah, Somewhere it's so around true. the thousands of years, 24 hours went missing. <laughs> or maybe it was just minutes apart. Maybe. One foot four, and one, one foot exactly. three. Exactly, very likely. It's interesting, isn't it? Different interpretations, and we find that because we've got different Bibles. Yeah how there are slight different translations, different translations yeah. and they can give quite different yeah. views. I mean, uh, three days into four days could have been a matter, as you say, of minutes, yeah, really. could have been, yeah. And that, that just... Uh, anyway, sorry, yeah. that's a small... Fun thought for you all. Thought for yeah. a small observation. Uh, I really like hmm. the bit in here, and I think further in the chapter he goes on to talk about it more. Um, but when Peter is saying... Um, about the Gentiles, you know you're well aware it's against the law for Jew and Gentile but God has shown me that I should not call anyone pure or unclean mm. and I really like that That how I think that's quite um, do I say modern? I don't, well, you know, but it's something we're all after at the moment is equality and God loves everyone yeah. and no matter who you are and, and what you know and it was this whole in the early days mm. Mm. All, all these um, traditions and regulations and, you know, who speaks to who and yeah. actually with God there's no, there's no barrier in yeah. that. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, and uh, it's so relevant today, inclusivity, mm -hmm. I think, funny word, but yeah, all sorts yeah, of... Yeah. New, um, but the same applies to here um, in that classic sort of um, uh, separation between the Jews who were God's chosen people and the Gentiles and everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, here is Peter, I think, breaking all that down um, in the same way that we try to break down barriers today. Mm. Uh, or we try to. Yeah. Um, and here's an example of a man, P Peter, who's gone in, they all rise and they, yeah. you know, they think he's sort of greater perhaps than, than he is. And he yeah. says, I'm a human. I'm just like you, you know. Yeah. Um, and, but this is again, well, I mean, we're in St. Peter's tide at the moment, aren't we? This is the, this is the season of St. Peter. And a lot of people, men, I think particularly, but me, I, I 
identified with Peter yeah, a lot yeah. um, because he he makes so many mistakes. And, yeah. um, but he but he's human, and again, here's a reference to it here. Which verse it is now? Where he says, "No, it's all right. You can sit down. You don't have to take yes. a big, Stand big up show." Yes, I'm only a man. I'm only a man. Yeah, verse twenty-six. Yeah, it's so true. Mm. I love that, and I think that's so true. Of you know, we can. It's great to look up to people and have people leading us, but we're yeah. all on the same level. Yeah. And mm. yeah, I think that's really important to remember in God's eyes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. We definitely are. Yeah. And Peter is just a great character, isn't he? He goes through such a journey. Yeah. And you're right, a real kind of like a real journey, like very human. He seems very human to us yes. as readers, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. And I like the way that they're sharing with each other in those early days of the church. Well, I prayed this and you mm. came and mm. they're, they're trying to work out the dynamics. Well, you prayed about this and you wanted yeah. me to come over and this is answers to prayer, yeah. not always perhaps in the way they wanted it, but they were seeing, yeah. I think, the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And is it St. Luke who wrote Acts? I think St. Luke, so, uh, not, you know, he wants to get it all down and, yeah. and, and illustrate how a prayer was actively working mm, mm, in definitely. the early church. Definitely. Yeah. I like one of the comments here. They said maybe maybe they were like us and the days were running together. Uh-huh. Could be. <laughs> Just merged the ball. That's a very good thought, actually. <laughs> it's a it was a bit locked down, isn't it? Yeah. Where are we? Oh, we say this every Monday? week. Is it it's, it's Monday, but yeah. it's week, whatever it is. Yeah. That I've lost days. So I've lost them. Know. But yeah. So things to pray for this week. Um, what were you thinking? Well, I, I um, uh, on a sort of sad note, um, I know one or two people who've lost loved mm-hmm. ones yeah. uh, most recently. Um, yeah. People who I know um, in our church family, and um, our yeah. thoughts are with them. I, I won't say who they are, but no. in my heart, I know who they are. I'm sure people. Um, listening and watching us will know of people who they want to lift to the Lord, either those who, who they know who've died or those who are mourning, they know people who are mourning yeah. um, either from Covid or from another the, uh, another yes. where, um, yeah. uh, uh, thing that's happened mm-hmm. that just really to be mindful of them I, I think I just want to pray generally for those who are in mourning mm-hmm. at the moment mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's a bit of a downbeat way to start. No, but, but I, it's that's real and it's something to pray for and yeah. there's power in prayer, isn't there? And yeah. We need to do that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Um, it would be really lovely for today if people could comment, um, obviously um, me if you'd like to, but if people could comment some prayer requests and things they'd like to pray for. And we'll certainly, um, we don't need to name names, but certainly we can shout out those prayers as well. That would be great. I think... Um, things that's on my mind this week as the end of the week is going to be big with restaurants and pubs opening yeah. and just thinking about those owners and yeah. um, not just the owners but the people they employ as well and this kind of last week on furlough for quite a lot of people yeah. and the lead up to going back I think is going to be quite a big build up for people emotionally yeah. and um, and but also just all the workload that is required for these businesses going yeah, back. Very much so, yes. It's, it's all a period of change. And again, yeah. with the church, yeah. um, week yeah, by week, we're, we're... I mean, this morning we had a lot of new yeah. regulations <laughs> from government as to how yeah. to safely open our yeah. church buildings. and So there's lots in play. Uh, yeah. but perhaps we can pray for, as you say, the red pubs and the restaurants and yeah. the other... Um, uh, organisations opening their doors again. Yeah, so, definitely. That would go well. yeah. yeah. Great. And then, like we said, please do comment anything that you would like us to pray for as well. That would be brilliant. Lovely. Should we pray? Father God, we thank you for this time together this afternoon. And we thank you, Lord, for everyone joining us today. And we pray for those uh, who we know who are really busy at the moment, um, who are working really hard. And we thank you, God, for people that have worked all the way through lockdown. And we pray for them, 
God and we lift them up to you. Please give them uh, rest and peace and, and reassurance as well that they know that um, what they're doing is really worthwhile. And we pray, Father God, also for those who are going back to work soon. We pray for the restaurant and pub owners who are starting to open at the end of the week. Um, we really don't know what, what that will seem like, what that will be, and we just lift that up to you, God, that's in your control. And we pray for those people who are planning and working really hard in the lead up to that. Uh, and for staff as well, in going back in that process this week. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Father, we continue to uh, lift before you all those who are uh, carrying responsibility, both at home in uh, our local area, Lord, for our councillors, for our MPs, and for those who uh, take charge of uh, all things to do with uh, businesses locally, for our police. Lord, for our armed forces. And Father God, we lift to you our, our uh, politicians nationally and world leaders and their governments, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and guidance as uh, people aim to uh, bring this pandemic under control. And Father God, we bring to you all those who are caring across the world, medical teams, nurses, doctors, healthcare workers, and all those key workers in all manner of jobs that uh, are keeping mm. the processes going. Would you bless them? Mm. Uh, food suppliers, drink suppliers, uh, so many to mention, Lord. But we are aware of them, and thank you, Lord, that you care for them, and you know each one. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Father God, we just pray for protection over this country as we go through this time of change. We pray God for our Prime Minister and the decisions that he has to make. And we pray, Father God, for all leaders in, in whatever they're leading. Father God, this is a really stressful time for them. And we just pray peace upon them. We pray for wisdom and please hold them. And we also pray, God, for countries that are um, not as at um, as much advantage as we are, God. Mm. We pray for those where um, there's the persecuted church, and we lift up those churches who are really going to struggle in this time. And uh, for people who already find it hard to meet and worship, that it will be even harder now. And we really lift those people to you and we pray, God, that they can still find time to make time for you together somehow. And we pray your blessing upon them and we pray for their safety and their health. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Lord God, we pray for those who are poorly at the moment. Mm -hmm. Those uh, suffering uh, in mind, body or spirit. Uh, we've had a prayer request for someone's brother mm -hmm. who is very poorly with cancer. Mm -hmm. And we lift that person to you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And for all those around that person, mm -hmm. for that man, Lord, we ask for your blessing, your sense of peace. And thank you, Lord, that uh, through the wonder of technology, Father God, that we are able to pray immediately. And Father, thank you that uh, we are able to uh, get an insight and uh, a real sense of what is happening now in, in our world, much of which is troubling. And Father God, we ask for your blessing upon those who mourn and those who are known to us who have passed away recently. Mm -hmm. And we lift to the, you particularly, Father God, those who we know in this area, members of our church families, mm -hmm friends, relations, and thank you, Lord, that you are absolutely there with those who mourn. Mm -hmm. You know the pain of death, Father, 
Lord Jesus, you were there and Lazarus was too. Mm -hmm. And we lift those who have died to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Just take a moment now of quiet to lift up our own prayers to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Thank you so much for those prayers and prayer requests and we'll read them at the end as well to ourselves and yeah. be sure to keep praying for you all this week. Absolutely. So, thank you. Um, great. Should we end with the Lord's Prayer? Of course. Our Father, Our Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come your will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lovely stuff. Thank you all for joining us. And we look forward to meeting with you again next Monday. When we can pray prayer. And obviously the church will keep you all in the loop of what's happening, but just watch this space. Yeah. And that's the most we can say at the moment, really, yeah, isn't it? That's right. And um, just while our um, young folk particularly engage with us on Instagram, we're sorry that there's been yeah. some technical difficulties this morning. Um, we'll try to sort it out. Perhaps that's got something to do with our internet here. It might do. I think. I'll, yeah. I'll get a hammer. I think it's the best thing. <laughs> and just bash the, box. bash the box. See what happens. Wake it up. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll try and be more on it next time, but thank you for still watching. Uh, great. So, we're going to end with a blessing. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.